all my bras and underwear from Victoria's Secret. You know, when I go in the store, I feel so special, like it's a holiday for me when I go shopping. I think for every model, the Victoria's Secret Fest Show is one of the biggest things you can book. Just everything about it, it's something I can't describe. And of course, for your career, it's really good to you. Like, it's Victoria's Secret. Be a fool in love with you every single day. I just wanna tell you I am. There was more to the name Victoria's Secret than we knew because the company really did have disturbing secrets. Some we've heard before about body shaming and ageism, but others we're just learning about now, including sexual harassment, toxic working conditions, and most shockingly of all, perhaps, an intensely close personal relationship between the company's former CEO, Les Wexner, and deceased pedophile and serial rapist, Jeffrey Epstein. Chip monkey, I hate that. Hello, Kettle. What? Hello, Kettle, you're black. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a model. <laughs> Some of you were three years old when we had our first show. Three. <laughs> And a lot of you were about nine or ten years old when we started putting this show on CBS. The thing about wearing lingerie, and especially being live on the runway, you can't retouch anything and you see everything. And a lot of times when you see a model in clothing, she looks amazing, and then when they go into their lingerie, you see proportions are off. And that really stands out when you have 35 of the most beautiful women in the world on the runway. Their product assortment is lacking in terms of uh, understanding what their target audience wants. You know, as, as a retailer, you have to be nimble. The Tourist Secrets is still trying to appeal to the men of the Mad Men era, and that's over. Um, Jeffrey S. Epstein's creepy gaze <laughs> on really? many different nights yeah like you know the guy would get drunk all the time so you know i'm just kind of happy that it's kind of finally out and that we don't have to force these young girls because they're teenage girls to go cast with these creepy men uh hadid and bill hadid no shade bd hadid knows how to walk but it's just recently that she knows how to walk when she started out at victoria's secret she didn't know how to walk can't have people that thinks with the penis that's not what this is about. If Edison Ray or Charlie D'Amelio walks, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I just couldn't agree more with the comments. I'm wearing pink and red for you guys because we were talking about Victoria's Secret, right? I chose to film in my car because I needed some peace and I can just scream and yell in this car without anyone noticing. So I just thought it would be fun to make this little video in the car instead. So I'm gonna do that. And just for your information, I'm wearing sunglasses because I have a red eye. So I feel like the glasses are canceling a little bit of the redness um, because I just hate having a red eye on camera. We're gonna be talking about Victoria's Secret. I'm not gonna go into the death of Victoria's Secret and the rise and the fall, but we all know the story about Victoria's Secret, how they, they came to the forefront and was one of the biggest lingerie underwear line for women and has been the most watched show for many years and the downfall because of the casting I think it was the casting the one to cast the models but the guy that has been there for many many years has been saying some controversial stuff like he doesn't want to have transgender women in the show because it's not a part of the fantasy and he said and he also prayed and said some weird comments about the young models as well that's like a lot of things and he's also tied with Jeff Epstein I think that's when the line was really crossed because he said a lot of things and also with Touch Secret has been making their mothers going this really really strict unhealthy diet for a really long time so that was also a, like a downfall for them because we we started to move into this more like a body positivity era where strict diet and having to like eat only certain things it just didn't live with the culture and where we are, where we're headed at so a lot of things like that was the reason why we first secret went on a really long really 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 long downfall and they haven't really recovered since i think the last show was like 2018 and that's when Adriana Ad Ad Lima stopped the show as well. That was her last show. But even before the show stopped, I remember because we had, for many, many years, the show has been 
really popular and successful successful and we have had supermodels like Naomi Campbell, Ty Banks, Heidi Klum, a lot of big models, runway models that could actually walk that walked for the show and it went really well and everyone was just sitting there waiting to watch that out to watch that show and it was like a global thing that opened they had so many stores open. It's like Victoria's Secret was the it brand for many many years. And then the shift started with influencers and then Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Bill Hadid and all these influencers started to become their models and that's when we started to see a little bit of downfall because these models were not really, they didn't know how to interact with the camera like the supermodels did. And I think because of that shift we started, a lot of people started to lose interest because even though influencing and stuff like that was starting to grow a lot. Um, I think also a lot of people appreciated the places places where the influencers, influencers didn't have influence, where we didn't see that, where we actually just saw people doing, well, how can I say, doing a profession in something and being good at it, like supermodels and not influencer, influencer supermodels, so actual supermodels that could walk. Then I I think it was around that time that we started seeing a decline of the Victoria's Secret and then on top of that, the, the guy, oh my god, what's that guy's name? I'm still gonna reference um, the guy as the guy um, and his name is Ed Resig. This is an article back in 2019 that he left the company but after, what was I saying? So after, well, so after that whole thing Oh, so now where was where was I? He started saying all these remarks about he doesn't want to see a transgender woman and be a part of the show because it's not a part of the fantasy. And then some other employee of the Victoria's Secret said something that she didn't, she would, she couldn't see Kate Upton being a part of the show because she just looked like a the neighbor's wife, uh, blonde hair, big boobs, and everyone can do that or something like that. Something and she, uh, Kate Upton had already been a model for the company before that before she even said that comment so she didn't even know that but it's just stupid shit like that and just a lot of things have been happening and a lot of things have come forefront and i think a big one big thing was definitely the jeffy epstein um that it the guy was tied to that guy all the, our favorites um angels supermodels that walked the show neil mccamber was never so um and Naomi Campbell was never an uh, angel, and I always wondered why, but she stated in the in interview that they could never afford her to be an angel. No, I was, no, I was never an angel, and I think it's because they couldn't afford me. <laughs> they, only, they, only, they, only used me, they only used me when it came time for the fashion shows, which they got a lot of press out. I mean, it worked both ways. But also, Naomi's book and busy, and Naomi, as, she has done so much different work that I don't really think that she would be able to like tie herself to just one brand like that. Had to dedicate herself. Her image is just Victoria's Secret because she's been she's been doing a lot of th different things, and she's also one of those supermodels that comes in and out, in and out, in and out. Even though she's always working, but she definitely also knows how to like pull back and just I think reset her mind. And Ty Banks. Ty Banks retired, Heidi Klum retired, a lot of the big supermarkets retired, Kisa Benson retired. Like, you know, those are like the main ones that you are waiting for to see walk down the runway. And when they start retiring and they start getting all these new models in that can't really walk, and we, they start investing money in models and influencers like Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid, no shade, Billy Hadid knows how to walk but it's just recently that she knows how to walk when she started out at Victoria's Secret she didn't know how to walk and she was also in a relationship with the weekend at the time and it, they made it to be like this big thing and I was just looking at her and just like oh my god it's so awkward you don't know how to walk and we had this Yadid she did all right. I would definitely say that she did that all right on the runway when it was to Victoria's Secret it wasn't like a thing where I was like excited it didn't make me it didn't make me excited. It didn't make me want to walk up, stand up and start walking as she was walking. You know, when, when the mother has that effect, like it's like a music video. If you see a music video and they start dancing, it, it, the song has like a effect on you where you just want to dance with the music video. 
she didn't give me that, but she was alright. And then we had Ariana Lima still, still doing it, um, amazing. And we also had Alessandra Ambrosio, is that her name? Alessandra Ambrosio, Ambrosio. She still did the runway. So we only, so we had few other supermodels left, and Candice also did the runway still. Uh, it was just the the focus was on these young ones that couldn't barely walk, and I just cringe. And also their styles. They started doing different styles with, with the lingerie. They started doing this floral floral stuff, and they tried to be a little bit more like sports athletic in the lingerie as well. It wasn't really. It, it wasn't what we knew with her secret to be. And it, it, if they just had kept being Victoria's Secret and the way that they did in the 2000s and the early 2010s I definitely think that Victoria's Secret will still be able to strive today if they still kept on doing that but just being more inclusive when it comes to the choice of models and and the diversity and also body 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 built built bodies <laughs> but if <clears throat> And the choice of models and the physiques, um, I definitely could see that they will still be here, be around today. But then they totally cut down because they also saw a decline in their customers. People stop stop buying Victoria's Secret also because Rihanna came up with Savage Fenty, and Savage Fenty was everything that the culture and the society wanted to see. They wanted to see representation of different colors, um, genders, um body types, everything, and Rihanna gave the people all of those things like she did with Fenty Beauty. She gave um, a big range for people to choose and she didn't, she never made it about one specific gender. She included everyone and that's what, that's the time that we live in right now that everyone wants to be included and that's like perfect, like why not? And Victoria's Secret just didn't follow along with that. All the customers basically just went to Savage Fenty. Of course, that will happen. So they have lost a lot of their customers and we haven't really heard from them for many, many years. And then they came back. They've gotten rid of all the angels. So now they have seven spokespersons, activists. They have one of the models uh, added Adat Akesh. And then they have Priyanka Chopra. And then she, they have, I don't know all of the, the people. I really don't. I actually like filming in my car. It's not my car, it's actually my mom's car, but no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? So we have the model at that cash. At that a cash. And then we have a LTB LGBTQI plus activist, Megan Raponi. They have the entrepreneur and actor Priyanka Chopra and body positive pa body positive advocate Paloma Elisas Elisa 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 <laughs> Wow! You would think that this is like the perfect move for the brand to like get rid of the angels and have these activists. I just really think that rebranding in that making them 180 degree like that is not wasn't the the right choice for the brand and we have a lot of people that have been coming for them saying that oh this is not what Victoria's Secret is a lot of people have been saying mad ass shit about this brand okay I can't find the post because it's so many years back but oh my god so I can't find the post um, when they posted their like the picture of the chosen activists and spokesperson for the brand but a lot of people was not happy about the shift. I just think people just want Victoria's Secret to come back as the show that we know it for when it was really popular, when they had actual supermodels walking the show. We really want to see that. We just want to see the choice of model food also reflecting the society and the culture that we are in today, that we want to see inclus inclusivity. Wow, inclusivity, wow. In inclusivity, inclusivity. We just want to see that. I would actually be thrilled if we saw Pat Graham work the show. That would be so amazing. And also if the shows a little bit more mature models as well would be so amazing. If Giselle Bündchen came back and they had more like of this approach of not being just young models on the runway, that would be, that would be so sick. That would definitely 
get the views back up and get people to tune in. But the show is coming back. The show is coming back. The show is coming back. Can you guys believe it? The show is coming back. I never thought the show would come back. I'm wearing pink and red for you guys because we were talking about Toy Secret, right? Never thought that in my lifetime. Okay, that's crazy. I never thought that Toy Secret would come back as a show. I never thought that that, that would happen. I, just, I always loved the show before influencers and, you know, those influencers that can't walk came into the show. I didn't like that, but except for that, when they use actual supermodels and oh, I don't know when the show is going to be announced on TikTok and Instagram that they're coming back and people are having a fit. So we're going to read some of the comments. Um, Secret. You remember that they used to like do the whole like show that would be like, Who's Victoria's Secret? Who's Victoria's Secret? Victoria, are you gonna? Is Victoria gonna be here today? Is They made it into like this whole big thing and then we find out that Victoria, the name of the brand Victoria's Secret is just inspired from that, from the Victorian time. I hope it would be like a story of the guy that created the brand that he had an affair with a woman called Victoria and he always used to buy her like lingerie and stuff. It was just, the name was inspired by the Victorian times. People are going ham already. They're saying, we want supermodels, not influencers. Bring back Adriana. True. We want Cindy Kimberly on the runway. I don't know who Cindy Kimberly is. Mmm. She better not be an influencer. I better get Candice and Wings. That's all I'm saying. True. Facts. Yes, but it better be runway models, not Insta randoms. Exactly. If Edison Ray or Charlie D'Amelio walks, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Me too. We don't want to see that. Okay, Victoria? We don't want to see that. If it's not supermodels, I don't want it. I don't want to see influencers, TikTokers, and Nepo babies. Talented models. I just couldn't agree more with the comments. If I don't see Adriana or Giselle, there would be serious consequences. <laughs> People are like savages, especially on TikTok. People are savages. They all better bring back the ropes. Oh, wow. I really love the rope too. I almost got a rope myself. We want to see Gigi, Bella, Taylor Hill, Romeo, Romy Street, Candice Wainpole, Barbara Powen, Jasmine Took, Sarah Sam, Sampaio, Ming, XD, Yasmin. Please! Because with some of the models I agree with. World is healing. Oh my god. Please only be angels. My inner child is screaming right now. Oh my fucking god. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Can I say fucking on YouTube? We're gonna stay fucking on YouTube. I'm screaming right now. And then Victoria's Secret replied, well, that makes two of us. I hate when they reply. Can then I be a little bit more stuck up? I don't need to reply on everything. We want, someone said we want supermodels of all sizes. And they even responded, all we can say is stay tuned. And then they made the eye to look to the side. Supermodels only. A lot of people are saying that they want Barbara Paulvin. Ah, something wrote, please know Kendall Jenner or I will wear it. Rewrite, rewrit. We want supermodel pills, please. Okay, so that's a lot of people that's just saying like I haven't been saying we just want supermodels. We want people that can actually walk. We want it we want different facial expressions. We want <sighs> we want to see people walk. People that knows how to walk. Okay, I don't wanna see someone that's gonna walk in heels like I would walk in heels. I want someone that's gonna Give me that, oh my god, how could you walk in heels like that, like Naomi Campbell. I want something like that. Iman Hamam, if she walks, please let her walk. Let it be something, ugh, just something with wings and bedazzled and... Okay, so a lot of people are saying they want supermodels on TikTok. So we're gonna go on Instagram. I haven't used Instagram for such a long time. If you want, you can go and follow me on Instagram as well. I haven't used it for a really long time, but I'm definitely coming out with new photos and stuff like that. I just need to do it. <gasps> Imaha Mom, she gave the, like the heart-eyed emojis. 
some of them were VS is not VS if there's no angels. Then someone said, please tell me there's wings and Victoria's Secret reply. We can't wait to share more later this year. Okay, so I don't really think the actual show is going to be this year. Maybe they're going to be like giving us a little peek. Maybe in like November, I could imagine. And then maybe in February, there'll be a show. Something like that. Angels, not Insta models, please. Exactly. I miss the real VS fashion show with angels and great diverse models from all backgrounds that you already had. Exactly. Every time I turn on the camera, I just, I'm just a lack of words. I don't know what that is. I just need more inclus inclus inclusivity. Oh my God when it comes to the choice of models. Angels, 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 not Insta models, please. I want the angels back, as long as Kendall isn't walking. A lot of people, and just in general, the Jenners and the Kardashians, people are not checking for them anymore. They really don't want them. I saw it coming, I could just feel it. And why can't we just have the same show with more diverse models? Exactly, that's what I've been saying. Just, ugh, that's what happens when you have these stuck up perverted men working being producers and, and executives because they really just think with a penis we can't ha have that we can't have people that thinks with the penis that's not what this is about everything everything is that's the thing that's why all these things are happening because we have these perverted men that are fucking running the shows when when it comes to like choice of models and stuff like that and it's like all these men that uh, thank God is, has been exposed for that perverted views and stuff has finally got, got kicked out but there's still a lot of them and we need to get them kicked out because this is why shit like this happens you know what annoys me the most it's gonna justify the situation but all these perverted men why they're all fat why they're all fat they don't have hair on the head they don't have they just don't have they're just disgusting not saying it would be better if it was a good looking man that was perverted, but you know, ugh, it's just disgusting. So a lot of people are excited about the Victoria's Secret fashion show being back. Just want to see actual supermodels walk the show. And I couldn't agree more with that. And it's going to be exciting to see what they have to offer or what they're going to bring us when it comes to the show. I really just hope that it's going to still be that whole set up and the fantasy because I really loved the show before I just think that they were missing out when it came to the choice of models and diversity and and also just having some of those people working for them that ugh, that perverted way of being thank god I got kicked out but except for that I think that Victoria's Secret is going to come back. I think we are going to see what we loved about that brand. Um, even though there's a lot of things that were fucked up at the time. I definitely think that they're going to come back. It's just going to take a little while for them to be where they were before. Because they really lost a lot of money. A lot of the shops are closed. I think it was like 2016, 17 that they had a lot of stores open. And after the downfall in 2018, 19, everything just closed down. And I think we're going to see them coming back strong again it's gonna take a little while um what do you guys think about Victoria's Secret coming back I know that I didn't cover everything but I didn't want to cover everything because there's so many videos that's even been a docu documentary about it and I'm not gonna go into all of that because one I'm really bad at names so I'm gonna reference every person as that guy that woman that yada 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 I'm gonna be referencing people like that because I'm so bad at names what do you guys think are you excited because I'm really excited what do you guys think about whole, this whole situation? Let me know and like and subscribe. Hope you guys like this video. It's a little bit different, it's different content, different setting. And I kind of like spe speaking in my speaking in the car because I could just be loud and talk and I don't feel like anyone is listening because I'm not, I don't live by myself. I just hate talking too loudly because I don't want people to, no one knows that I'm doing YouTube, that's the thing. No one knows that I'm doing YouTube. No one knows. And they're not gonna know, okay? I'm not gonna know I'm doing YouTube. So I'm, I'm the only one that knows that I'm doing YouTube. You guys know that I'm doing YouTube. You know what I mean? Oh my God, if people knew what I was doing in my short videos, shaking my ass for subscribers. For my ex, you could keep that nigga. 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 Fuck that nigga, he ain't got- Oh my God. 
I wouldn't be able to walk out of my home. But yeah, that was it, you guys. Hope you guys liked this video, and bye-bye.